What's up, book readers? It's your boy, the Brown Book Troop, and I talk about books from all around the world. Today, I'm finally going to get around to talking about Sayaka Murata's Earthlings. I made a short about this immediately after I finished the book, but now I've sat with it for a little while and I've had conversations with other readers of this book. I want to talk about it. I don't think I processed this straight away after reading the book, and I will try to avoid the spoilers the best I can because I want everyone to read this book. I didn't process this straight away because I was blown away and just confused about how, for lack of a better term, the ending being so strange to me. I, there are other words I want to use to describe it, but I feel like those might ruin the ending and I don't want to do that because I this is a must read. And I didn't really clock what the book was truly about. I kind of felt like it was an author pushing boundaries and doing things, but then I thought and I spoke to people and I was like, wait, yeah, I understand. What this book really is about is trauma and how one deals with trauma and not just trauma you experience now, but childhood trauma and how one experiences with that, with that, how children experience and handle trauma. It is incredibly vivid in that and obviously as someone who I don't think I have suffered trauma that comes near to anything that our protagonist suffers and I don't think I yeah I don't think I ever have and I might not ever experience that and maybe that's why there was a little bit of a disconnect but having spoken to people about it I kind of understand it takes the experiences of trauma and it does go into fairly vivid detail as to what those experiences are and it also takes childhood into it and the innocence of childhood and how that can be tainted by traumatic events and it really really puts you the reader through the ringer when they talk about kill your darlings when you write something the author does not hold back the author puts their main character through hell and it's something that you as the reader have to experience alongside this main character and you as an adult because points a lot of the trauma that the main character faces they are a child in this book as an adult you want to be there you want to be telling this child please don't do these things please don't you want to scream and shout at these people inflicting this abuse and trauma onto this child you want to scream and tell them off but you can't because it's a book you are a third person ab absorbing the events that are happening and that that makes it it makes your skin crawl almost reading it it uh, it is perfectly done and that's why i think this book is so good and why it's a must read but i really think this book that portrays itself as a book about many different things at its heart is a book about trauma the experiences of trauma and how trauma can have an effect on you so i implore you to go out and read this book i do say this very very heavily that there are a lot of potential triggers in this book so i would maybe look into some of the themes and maybe think if you actually want to read this book because I think if you have experienced some of the stuff that our main character goes through it might be something that you don't want to read about so keep that in mind when reading it but if you feel like you want to read it I said to a friend if you're feeling very robust and you feel like you can handle the topics in this book I would say read it if you can't that is a hundred percent understandable and I hope that you are well and fine and if you can read this book please do read it I think it is a fantastic deep introspective and yes truly at points strange read please check out earthlings thank you for watching remember to like subscribe share the video and I hope you read a fantastic book today